What is up, everybody? To Blueverse TV here today with Starfield getting closer and closer. There is always some new controversy that these Sony fanboys are coming up with, and apparently the newest controversy is that apparently because Starfield will not be playable to the public at Gamescom. Gamescom takes place between August twenty third, twenty seventh, so a few weeks, two a few weeks away. It's gonna be roughly one and a half weeks before Starfield early access begins. Um, People are stating, Sony fans are stating this is major red flags, like the game is going to launch like incomplete or something like that. The game is not ready for launch or something like that to that extent. And it's like, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's like, if this is red flags and the game is incomplete, then what does that say for Sony? Because Sony won't be at this event either. This is another event that Sony won't be at. So it's red flags for Sony since they keep missing these different events. <laughs> if you use that same logic I don't know but it is kind of corny how these guys are going non-stop going with different narratives trying to trash Starfield probably the biggest game of this year people are saying the game is game of the decade at this point but I remember a time period when Sony fanboys were actually praising Starfield remember this comment right here this guy says good my PS5 is ready when he thought the Starfield was going to be a, a released on PS5 as well it's just like just a just it's just it's just crazy how the change happened because the game got announced to be xbox exclusive and now they're going all just hate 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 patrols on starfield like 24 7 at this point now it's just it's just disappointing at this point but once again with the subject i don't think this i don't think there's any major red flags because this game is not going to be as gamescom as a playable demo i'm pretty sure they'll be confident with this game release date so but let's see what other people have to say about this. Um, buddy, you're only good at stealing others' tweets or making hype up PlayStation with fake news. I recommend you stick to that. Okay. <laughs> so I already roasted this guy. This is a five day early access period before launch. No need for a demo or a week before early access. A demo does not mean much for the state of Starfield at launch. Starfield will be okay. That's what I think, like, about when, but that doesn't release most of their games. It's not really a demo anyway. Like, they don't really give you demos. I don't remember ever been a demo for any of Bethesda games, so... I don't see this as a big deal, but... You know, some people like this, who says red flags for sure... Or right, so back to this comment. He says, red flags for sure, we've seen this kind of strange situations before, especially with comparing it to publish, not providing review copies of certain games. And also, Metacritic scores release time of game releases. And this person compares to Cyberpunk 2077 Deja Vu. Like, I think this is a big stretch they're going with here. Not a good sign they are scared to show early to the public, <laughs> but they did a whole hour presentation for this game. Make that make sense if they're so scared to show it to the public. The red flags, and the guy has a place as a, a Spider Man avatar. Very concerning. OMFG is a flop. How is this supposed to happen? Xbox and Bethesda will go bankrupt soon. These are just some ridiculous comments. Like, what is going on? People are saying this red flags. Very concerning. Uh, not sure if the game needs a playable build, but seeing some kind of extended gameplay trailer with hope, anyone that is worried about it. I mean, they did an hour presentation. Do they need to do more at this point? Like, <laughs> I just don't get it. Apparently, they need to do more than just the hour presentation. They went in great detail about the game, apparently. That is never a good sign. Guess it may be, well, another just release it and patch a later type of game, but time will tell. It will be buggy or broken. All this because they've got a demo at Gamescom. It's just like these assumptions are just wild. I wonder if Spider Man 2 will be playing with Gamescom. Sony will be there, correct? We know the answer to both those questions. Nope. Sony, it's just fascinating. Microsoft actually goes to these events and they get crapped on for it. But when Sony doesn't go, people just like say like everything is just fine. So it doesn't make any sense how Microsoft gets flack for going to the event. But Sony gets no flack for not attending the event and not showing sure Spider-Man 2, their biggest game. Where's the demo for Spider-Man 2 at? <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing, it means nothing. Uh, I think that's the right move. We don't need spoilers two weeks before the game launches. 
This is gonna be another Cyberpunk 2077. Why do they keep comparing it to Cyberpunk? Like, what? they really want this game to flop. These guys are so weird. Because it's not on PS5, they really want this game to flop. I think they're gonna be disappointed because I think this is gonna be the biggest game of this year, so. Uh, it means nothing. They have never done this in the past. Why do it now? Yeah, I don't remember if it does actually happen like these demos I prefer for their game, so. I don't see why why should they start now. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think any, at least not the Elder Scrolls for Fallout series, have ever been playable before launch, especially if the game is launching a week later, clown. <laughs> yeah, they haven't done that before, so it's just fascinating that they just want to push this tale, this false narrative that the game is in major turmoil there's major red flags but there's no signs of red flags anywhere it's just like, it's just fascinating nothing why the hell would they let anyone play my most anticipated game at Gamescom everyone should experience this game at the same time you think Sony's bringing Spider-Man for y'all to try out nope, they are not spoiler, they're not bringing Spider-Man anywhere <clears throat> Isn't there a five-day early access period? I think we'll get what we need to know during that period. Yeah. Spooky. It's just spooky <laughs> once again. It's just so funny coming from this guy because they literally have tweets of this guy saying, yes, give me Starfield for my PS5. My PS5 is ready for this game. But now he's like, spooky. It's just like, this guy is such a clown. <clears throat> Everyone, for some reason, when there's a high chance that the new Bethesda RPG will be really buggy, like they haven't been like this for decades. Xbox, you better start praying. <laughs> what does that comment even mean? Oh man, it's just like just the constant doom and gloom, the doom saying, the worrying about the Xbox exclusives. Oh man, these guys are so butthurt. What the F? Nothing. The game watches the week after Gamescom. Why the F would they need a demo there? You know, doesn't make any sense to me. But you know, according to Sony fanboys, this game just needs a demo. Even though their biggest game, Spider Man, doesn't have a demo anywhere. But you know, it's just different for for Xbox games, I guess. They need demos while Sony just doesn't need to have the same requirements, I guess. Um. Jack crap is the answer to your question. Seems like you're scaremongering to me. I'm excited for Star Wars, but I have few, if any, doubts that it will be excellent. I agree. Major concerns. Now I'm begging. Now I'm beginning to think the review embargo date will lift on launch. Oh, this scares me. Why wouldn't it be playable if it's this close to launch? Redfall and Cyberpunk vibes here. How many Sony games have demos? Like, this is the most dumbest crap. This this whole thread is full of comments. People saying they're actually concerned about this game. It's like, really? This is going to flop so effing bad. From Captain Oreo. Okay. <laughs> Coming in hot, the reset error uses as is it both for Redfall and Starfield Redfall being in a much better state at launch. Spooky stuff. A lot of red flags. Really? Oh, this is a little stupid. I don't know if this is just like a Sony fanboy copium thread right here, but they really believe this game is going to have a lot of issues at launch. I don't know if they really believe that or just saying that just to cope because it's not on PS5. Because this is kind of ridiculous. Just because they have a demo a week before the game launches. When most games don't have demos for a week before the game launches. Like Most games don't have demos at all. But you know, it's, a, it's just a red flag for Starfield though. Not a good look for Starfield. A little like every other comment says that. 
Spider-Man 2 won't be playable at the public at Gamescom, so apparently that means it's having issues. I'm just using your pony logic. <laughs> it's just funny how they can't find out the correlation between that. They blame Starfield for, or Xbox for being at Gamescom, but Sony isn't showing their biggest game at Gamescom either, but this, this, that's A-OK, -okay, right? It means they don't want story leaks before launch. Yeah, I don't really, need, I don't really need to see any much more at this point. Like the game's about to release in like a month, I don't really want to see much more about this game. I just want to play it for myself. Like that's when movie, these movie companies release too many trailers for a movie, like a highly anticipated movie. It's like at a certain point they release too many trailers and you get the whole story spoiled for you. I don't need, I don't need too much more Starfield spoiled for me at this point. I just want to experience it for myself when it's available, to, available to be played to the public. So. I think they're doing just fine without having a demo. We don't need more, any much more detail about Starfield. Just, just, just let's just enjoy the ride and play the game when it releases. <laughs> I don't think there's any major red flags that these guys are claiming. I think they're just butt hurt and salty because it's not on the preferred platform of choice. They may actually have to go out and buy an Xbox or a PC to play this game. So I'm gonna include it right here. I think these guys are full of nonsense. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.